What's up gamers, I was just editing the video and realised I didn't actually even have a proper like intro to it So uh, today I kind of want to show you how to spot on cliff in your light tanks So without further ado, I'll get right into the video I had a massive response on my first ever video I think we were just shy of uh, 1.8k views A bunch of comments, that's that's really good um, We had 23 new subscribers, uh, so I really appreciate that Definitely drop down into the comments, I pretty much replied to every single one of them so I hope to see you there. Okay, so I want to show you how to spot effectively on the map. Clip. So, my favourite is, don't go for the lighthouse. You can't really do a whole lot up there, to be fair. Uh, and generally, you will get shot going up there. Instead, what? Well, I'm going to put it back to a fixed camera. Um, what I want to do is go down to this bush and sit as far to the right. And this goes for the other side as well to the far as right as possible because you don't want to be getting hit by the tanks that will sit here so you plunk yourself in here as you see we spot the char and we spot the Udes. nearly got a hit there it could have come from a 268 or a T95 just let them go past because you're not going to do anything you're going to get spotted instead which you don't want to do you don't want to get spotted if you get spotted every TD is currently looking at you but you want to sit like this on the right there you go, I've checked myself. All good. Yag Panzer fires, we spot him. He notices, so he's dipped down and he's out of the way. We've spotted the object 268 as well. And you just do not fire. But there we are, we're a minute and 10 into it, 1500 damage. Yag Panzer constantly spotted. Now for some reason, I didn't get that spot. Don't know why. I've kept him spotted the whole time, but the Hori fired, or T95 had fired. I should have another 1600, I should be at about 2.1k. But I didn't get it. Um, so currently I'm running um, CVS in the, in the slot. But we get that one, which is nice. Uh, yes, I've got CVS in the first slot, um, optics and low noise exhaust. They are the three I've got. Uh, no premium consumables. Um, and I think my crew has Brothers in Arms and uh, Camouflage. There you go. So we're up to 3k. The TD understands what's going on. T95 knows. I'm spotting all of these tanks. Now, I see the M103 and... Who's he with? You know, he's not with anybody. The 121B. They're moving up, so I'm not right. They're going to take the spots. So there's no point in me being here. The Char's been killed, and the Udes was killed. They're no longer up here. But I know that it's empty. I see the Emil, and they're basically at max view range for for them. They're not they're not going to be able to see me. But I want to spot further down here. We managed to spot the RT, the WT. And something strange happens with the WT. But there's the RT. There's the 100 again. There's double RT. We spotted both the RTs. The WT just comes driving at me. Now trust your camo. You have to trust your camo here. Anything at 50 meters, then he'll spot me. Anything above that, he's not going to spot me. Near impossible. You have to be within 50 meters to be able to spot me once I'm over 36% camo, which I'm sat at about 42 Yeah, so we spot the Hori as well. Yeah. So you would think right here that he could spot me, but he can't spot me through this bush. Even with the back end sticking out a tiny bit. We're getting spots on the Emil, which has got 548 from him. Now you'd believe, right? I'm keeping him spotted the whole time. He's been spotted the entirety of the time for me. And that is basically been down to me. Now watch what happens. Oh, the T-30's moved up. So we have to just wait for these tanks to go first before. Nine hundred and thirty-four. Sixteen hundred. I get two hundred and twenty-two spotting for it. That's it. Two hundred and twenty-two. Out of sixteen hundred. 
So we could be at nearly about six and a half K quite happily. And you don't want to fire. You have to resist. You have to resist it. That's the email. Just waiting for this T30, and I think, right, now's the time to fire. The G sort is where I thought he would be. He's just on that rock right there. He's not really a, a threat, to be honest, at all. It's not going to do a lot. So I knock this tree down to make the ones down there think that I'm going to go into this bush. Instead, I drive up, and I go around, and I go into this bush, so they don't blind fire me. There's the Jaeger route. The Akiza. No point firing, it's too too risky. RT will deal with him. Pyri. He's just been one shot. I've got the full 1290 for that. Now, I could have stayed here, but I wanted to kind of push up. Unfortunately, this is where. Not a huge mistake, but I've only got three in there. You know, I could have done with one extra. And. He's in the rock, and yeah, he three fires. I missed the first one. I stopped for the second one. I shoot for the third one. Now he knows that I've probably only got one more, but he doesn't know that I'm actually reloading. But I start kiting him around. I was hoping that the 121B might help here. Um, he doesn't help at all. I keep going, right, then I stop and I make it look like I'm still reloading. I'm not reloaded. Drive out, shoot one, get it around, shoot another one into him, get another one into him, last one for the kill, stick it through the front of him, and RT. But, this is what I'm saying about up here, he's going to get you nothing. Look at that STB one. He's top tier tank, not really done a lot. Whereas I've done seven and a half thousand spotting on cliff and allowed my tanks all these tanks down here there we go let's find them yep yeah. i allowed all those tanks to just sweep into the base push down the uh the one two line and uh win the game basically all from spotting their tds on the one two line so if you want to do that every single time you get it a light tank on this map you should have a good game and uh, I'll take you to the post game stats so overall not too bad we managed to do 4.2k of XP we managed to get 7.7k of spotting damage all in 7 minutes 47 well actually 6 minutes and 40 seconds because there was a, a minute after the game where I managed to get RT'd Otherwise, we probably could have ended up at nearly 10k. So honestly, that is the best way to uh, to spot on cliff. Um, it's not to go up here where the lighthouse is. It's, it's not to go up there. Don't go up there. Um, that's not where you want to go. Yes, sometimes you can shoot down onto the tank uh, down here. Apart from that, it's not very good. You're better off doing what I just did. But we shall hop into the next game, which is another 1390 game, which was directly after this one on, I believe it's Prokhorovka. Could be Malinovka. No, I think it's Malinovka. Okay, we're going to try to do a bit of a live com here. So, it's a tier 9 game on uh, Malinovka. I see a ping from over there, um, which is where I did want to go. But the EBR, I'm pretty sure he pinged it. So, um, he started going that way, so I've left him. So, I'm going to get these, the, uh, the early spots in this bush. So let's see what we can spot. Okay, we managed to get a Visa 176, the E75, and a pattern the tank. Which, and we managed to spot their LT432, which is pretty much just sitting there in the open. Same with the Lorraine, that's gone through. Probably up to 1,100 spotting in the first minute. And okay, 1,700. So we're at 1,700 in the first 40 seconds. Uh, okay, so there's a 5120 there, and we can see 
trees getting knocked down in there. Another. He probably doesn't know that he was spotted the whole time. Managed to get one shot in. And that was it. So our guys in uh, F7 didn't do a lot. There is quite a few of them. They are all just sitting there. <clears throat> but I know that he's in there. He has to be in that bush. But it's a good it's a good bush. It's a very obvious bush, so you do have to be quite careful. I see the lynx is over there. Yeah, see, I'm telling my team now to blind blind fire this bush. Um, which most of the time people don't listen, so if you are and you're on this map or any map and your light tank is telling you to blind a bush, as long as you don't get spotted for it, just give it a go. Odds are they probably know. See? Told you he was in that bush, but they would not listen. Okay, so I can't see who's pinging, but I'm going to guess it'll be the WZ132 probably pinging that. Um, one of the other tanks are up, up that, that way. Okay, so we spot one of the tank destroyers. There is still an SU-130. Um, but majority of the time, you're not really going to spot them a whole lot because they'll be behind the rocks and things like that. So you're not really going to see their uh, spotting points. Okay, so I was about to say, I, was about to say, I think I'm thinking of leaving here. Uh, I want to go up and try and get into sort of the D6 position on this. Uh, I'll have a look while we're driving. Up over here sort of area, and I want to try and get into these bushes. But obviously the problem will be is the lynx that's up here. Which we are about to find out. And this game is extremely close on my uh, second marks of excellence. I think I'm about... 82% yeah so we get spotted yeah so that must be the lynx the lynx hits us with an HE for 300 damage uh, we're up to 2.7k of uh, spotting unfortunately he does get another one in yep there he goes so that's 600 damage he's taken us down to half health in two shots of HE uh, someone did manage to get a shot into him for 319 damage now this isn't a place that I see often people people like go and play. But I know 5120 has a really weak turret. And I love checking at the map. I realize that I could fire. Um, but yeah, it's actually quite a strong place. You can you can play in it and uh, take people out on that when they're sitting up there like that. Um, but how they're sitting there, you can't get seen from the, F, uh, the F7 and shot. So it's a good place. Okay, so I'm trying to move back down. Basically what I want to do is I want to spot this lynx. I realise I haven't been spotted here. So if I haven't been spotted here... I see the G-saw. He's going down there. So I don't want to go down there because if that 5120 just pokes over it, he's going to clip us out. So I jump up into this bush. I spot the 5120. I'm hoping someone on the hill is going to fire down on him. I don't want to fire, but we've seen the lynx. That's the most important thing. We've seen the lynx. The lynx is going to be the only thing that's going to, you know, basically proxy spot me from now on. Okay, so he's gone. I'm thinking that the lynx has gone into the, those bushes there in this sort of C5 area. I'm having a look around. I see that we're winning. We won the hill, basically. We've got an E75, but I know that the SU, I don't know where the XM's gone. I don't know where the Lansom's gone. There's still a CS-59, which is uh, nowhere to be seen currently. Last spot on the hill. I want to take a move. Then I spot the, CS the CS-59 and I take a dodge. I get hit by the LT, so we dive down in here. I have a quick look and check where he is. So he's obvious where he is. He's down on the bushes, probably in the D boorish area. Yeah. D3 is currently. I see the CS59. I don't want to get spotted. He gets unspotted. So I dive around and back into the bush. Hoping someone can shoot him. Anyone going to shoot him? No. No one shoots him. Okay, so from here I'm just kind of waiting really. I spot the LT. That tank I really want it gone. 
So right now I'm debating on whether I fire. I'm letting my team fire. I see that the G-Saw's moving. The E50 can still see him. He clearly thinks he's not spotted anymore. I see one more. I'm lining it up in case he goes to drive off and disappear, but they got him. Okay, so that means I now can move up because the Lynx, the Lynx has been, is in the woods. So he's going to struggle to spot me just as much as I'm going to struggle to spot him. Um, but I do tell my team, aim to the forest, which basically means I'm going in the forest. So they best spot. So I keep away from the bushes in case he's there. He won't be on the front row, but he'll be a bit further in. See, they've knocked these down, so I sort of use these trees and bushes here. I spot the arty, which is nice. There's another 4,000. That's the lynx. This is the only one I had to be careful of, because he drives around, obviously. You don't want to get proxied. Knocking trees on the way as I go. Keeping more trees between me and where I believe that they will be. I get to here and wait. Spot the issue. We get spotted for that. We take one shot from the CS and one from the XM. We are left with 134 hit points. So I just go for them. I figured I was going to take an extra shot here, but I didn't. We spot the CS. And then we spot the XM. We're at 5.2k. There's another, and we finished and clutched the kill off. I think what's the point shooting him? Let's kill the one that's closest to me. Another one, and we're in. I believe the X, uh, the object 416 gets killed on, yeah, gets uh, blind shot, so. They, he must have been blind shot from almost full HP. Um, and now I believe it just goes all the way. Yeah, I was questioning, someone said spot maybe, and I was like, I believe I am spotting, but, um, yeah, we can drive all the way up now, and that is the end of the game. Um, that is how you want to spot on Malofka. If you like the video, please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe. I have been streaming on Twitch, uh, I'll put the link down in the description, uh, it should just be Twitch, I believe, forward slash Elotus, the e -L -O us uh yep that's what it would be so head over there give me a follow um when i'm live come in say hello and hopefully it'll be a good day and we'll be winning games